Behind the Badge, brought to you by Big O Tires. When you're young, going back to school is the natural thing to do. But it's not just for kids. It's something select police do each fall, too. School resource officers show me how they prepare to start the new year in today's Behind the Badge. Right now, kids in Utah are excited for back to school. Many across the state now back in the classroom. Tell me what high school that is. <laughs> but they're not the only ones roaming the halls. It's back to school for police, too. School resource officers like Jonathan Parker are back again at Twilla High School. Welcome back. And students are thrilled to see him. <laughs> did you have a good summer? I did, bro. So you excited to be back? Yeah, super excited. All the kids seem excited, too. So it's, it's nice to see all the, the faces back. Second period, eh? Come on. For school resource officer Mitchell Haas, it's his first year at Granite Park Junior High in South Salt Lake. We've been gearing up for it all summer long. Almost as soon as we ended last year, we were gearing up for this year. He may still be learning where everyone needs to go. The kids are going to second period A, right? But the kids already like him. Hello, hello. Good morning. Learning how to get such warm receptions is part of the training these school resource officers and others like them do to prepare for the year. We drill a lot of policing the teen brain because, uh, I mean, let's just be honest, the kids are just going to be different than how you would police an adult. Just like students who study for class, school resource officers study before the year begins and hit the books for extensive training. The officers say their trainings cover everything from active school shooters, including this one earlier this year at Hunter Junior High to this rescue task force training at Cypress High to save possibly injured students. Being in a school, you're still gonna get pretty much every type of crime being committed here. Um, so I think it's good just to stay sharp. Anybody in here? Officers study how to interact with students with special needs or simply those maturing in their understanding. These kids don't need you to just say, hey, this is what happens and then try to do it. These kids need you to explain to them why the process works this way. And it's kind of an introduction into adult life. Both of these men love what they do. Jim, down and to the left. Welcome back. The young relationships they can build. Yeah. I think it's good to have an, an impact on them to maybe teach them that, you know, law enforcement's not here just to take you to jail and, and to, to give you a hard time. We're, we're here because we want to help. And the difference they can make. What's your name? Rainy. Rainy, nice to meet you. I'm Haas. There's a lot of kids that don't have food on the table, and I want to help find and locate which kids need more help than other kids. <laughs> Some of it comes naturally, but the school resource officers kids see in the hall also study just like them. I also asked the officers, did you buy anything new for the school year, like kids do with new clothes or a backpack? One said he bought a new lunchbox so he could keep his drinks cold. So they do that too.